What's going on guys? For many of us, it's a fact that we're not alone in the universe. And this next report is going to have you questioning space, space angels. Back in July 1984, on the 12th, three Russian cosmonauts on the space station were engulfed by an orange glow inside the capsule. It was like unlike anything they've ever seen. It just overcome them within the space capsule. They gathered around the window together. And what they seen them absolutely shocked them. They seen a luminescent beings looking back right directly at them. The beings had faces that resembled human form. This is a report directly from the cosmonauts that they had faces resembling human form. A wingspan the size of a Boeing 747. Now that is huge. All three of the cosmonauts signed a statement stating what they experienced. Were these a form of aliens or light apparitions, light beings, or perhaps even angels? Let's dig a bit deeper. Let's do a little background on the situation. So, the Soviet 7 space station, which you can look up on Google, you can dig further into this, investigate, comment below. The Soviet 7 space station launched into space April 1982. Now, these luminescent beings appeared to them following the space station, seen by all the cosmonauts on board for close to 10 minutes. Just five days later, the Soyuz T-12 rocket launched into space, making history to join these cosmonauts. And on the 24th of July, the craft was once again engulfed in this orange glow. Now, the original cosmonauts knew what this might be since they had already experienced this. This time, all six of the cosmonauts witnessed seven glowing figures once again. They described them in more detail this time. Exciting stuff. They stated the figures' faces were identical to one another. What could this mean? Upon the original three cosmonauts returning home back on Earth, they took time and they shared their experience. And how did the Russian government respond, do you think? Well, first they put them through extreme psychological tests. All three cosmonauts passed these tests with flying colors, I might add. So what was it that they experienced? The Russian government didn't know how to react. The Soviet space program classified the report to further protect the space program from being ridiculed and defunded. In the year 1985, the information was leaked from inside the government. Could this be a possible group illusion, do you guys think? Who knows? The information was leaked and the press and ran with it. October 22, 1985, an article titled Huge Angels Seen in Space was ran in the weekly news. And you can actually see the article itself here. This happened. Now, group illusions. They're not fully understood. How can a group of people have an illusion of the same thing? What would cause this to happen? Was this just an illusion? I don't believe it was. After full evacuation of the Soviet 7, some really strange things began to happen. It experienced power surges, and this is something that does not occur on a regular basis. Up until this point, I'm not sure this ever occur occurred at all. And that's something you guys can look into further if you want to Google this. But the power surges shut down all radio transmitters and radio receivers. Soviet 7 was completely lost into space before burning up in the Earth's atmosphere. It was completely destroyed. I want you guys to share your thoughts and comment in the space provided below this video. I'm going to be sure to read through all of the comments. 
And don't forget to tap the thumbs up button if you found this information interesting. And subscribe because I'm working on a new video right now for you guys. And until next time, keep your eyes to the skies.